Welcome to Touchweight Management Channel. This is Yuji Nakamura. This video shows a whole picture of how to apply touchweight management to a piano. This piano used weapon assist springs before, which took a part of touchweight away but uh, gives funny touch feeling at the same time. Removal of assist springs makes touch, touch weight very heavier, but changing gear ratio and uh, setting proper key, uh, key balancing uh, brings the normal touch. Please find in this video. We are measuring all items of six sample nodes. First, measure down weight and up weight with assist springs. Measuring sample nodes in tenor section. Measuring treble samples as well. Then unhook assist springs from sample nodes. Then we are measuring down weight and up weight again, but this time without assist springs. Down weight and up weight are now much bigger than original. Difference reaches 28 grams. Let me explain how acid spring works. The spring is attached to the back end of weapon leather. The weapon sits on the capstan if no spring engaged. Then the key lifts the weapon up. The weapon returns to rest position by gravity and the hammer. Let's see next how the spring works. The assist spring lets the weapon up. When pushing the spring like this, weapon goes up. The spring pulls down the backside of weapon lever. Now connecting spring with loop code. The weapon is kept staying above position when the spring works. Even the weapon is pushed back. The weapon is popping up when finger released. So the assist springs reduces the weight of whole weapon and part of hammer assembly to the capstan. The result of that the key gets less weight at the back so that it's possible to reduce key legs. Manufacturers claim the key moves faster because of less weight in the key stick. On the other hand, touch gets funny feeling and heavier initial touch weight because of too little inertia in the key. Now let's start measuring hammer related elements. First, measure strike weight. Then measure gluing distance, length, strike weight. Check shank flange center. Measure hammer imp length, length hammer in. Measure knuckle distance. Measure diameter of knuckle. We measure all sample hammers. According to the samples, strike weight is a bit heavier side, but it should be manageable. We are measuring weapon related items next. Mark center point of the capstan and measure weapon weight. Check weapon one center. Measure weapon imp length length weapon in. Also measure weapon output length, length weapon out. Next, measuring key related items. Measure front weight, then measure key ratio. Measure key output length, length key out.
take one capstan from a key stick. We finish sample modes now. Now we are measuring strike weight of first half set. Recording them at the same time as plotting into the smart chart. Draw target line of strike weight. Find some targets by checking maximum reduction from heavier hammers. Draw a smooth curve by connecting samples. Amount of reduction is just depends on the original. Once target curve is drawn, we collect value of each node from target line. Record with plus, which needs adding mass. Record with minus with needs reducing mass. I measured all front weights this time because I'd like to compare between original and after work. Making template of sample keys to get the amount of moment of inertia of the key sticks. Draw outline record all elements such as keylets, capstones. Also draw side view for one of samples. Draw lines every 4 cm from burn's point, both white keys and black keys. Use different color between white and black to clarify. Let's look at the equation of balance of sample keys. Each node has two, two lines, above is original, and below is without with an assist spring. Look at balance weight, it gets much heavier when without assist spring. Compare front weight and ceiling. Original front weight is much lighter than ceiling. Strike ratio seems very good standard level. WAS means with an assist spring force. We are looking at more details here. Assist spring works at the backside of the action, but it works reducing backside of the weight so that the value gets minus. The amount of spring force is calculated by Difference between two balance weights. The balance weight without spring minus the balance weight with spring. Samples in base have about 28 grams, in tenor about 17 and 18 grams, in treble about 11 grams. Let's analyze sample note of C4. We are looking at reducing strike weight by 0.2 grams, so balance weight will be reduced by 1 gram. The ratio can be reduced at next stage. The balance weight reduced accordingly. We would like to adjust balance weight to very standard of 38 grams. We need to reduce balance weight by 18 grams. We can achieve it by increasing front weight by 18 grams. Front weight will be around 29 grams, which is still less than ceiling level of this note. Another sample of C sharp 4. We are looking at only 0.1 gram reduction from strike weight. The balance weight is reduced very little. We are looking at reducing strike ratio by 0.4. The balance weight will be reduced by 4 grams. We want to get very standard 38 grams of balance weight, so we need 18 grams of reduction. We achieve it by increasing front weight by 18 grams. 28 gram of front weight is less than ceiling level still. Next, we are analyzing moment of inertia of the key. Look at this center of gravity position. This shows mass center of keylets at front length of the key stick. 
I'm looking at between 0.5 and 0.6 in this project. Two possible keylets were entered. One keylet is here. And another one is here. These positions and weights were adjusted to achieve calculated front weight with same value of aiming front weight. Let's look at moment of inertia of the whole action. The moment of inertia of a hammer is reduced by 2%, but the linked moment of inertia of the key is reduced by 10,000 units due to decreasing the gear ratio. The moment of inertia of a weapon is not changed, and the linked moment of inertia is not changed so much. The moment of inertia of the key stick increased by 34% because proposed two additional keylets. The whole amount of moment of inertia is almost the same as original because increased amount of inertia of the key stick is almost the same as decreased amount of inertia of the linked inertia of the hammer at the key. Next, another sample C-sharp 4. First, inertia of the key stick. Center of gravity. I'm looking at between 0.6 and 0.7 for semitone keys. Because semitone key has less moment of inertia than white due to shorter key sticks. I'm proposing two keylets in these positions. This achieves 26,000 units of whole inertia. Inertia of the key stick of C4 was 32,000, so this key C sharp 4 is less than C4. Even keylets are allocated further from bank pin. The moment of inertia of whole action of C sharp 4 the inertia of the hammer itself is reduced by only 1%, but linked moment of inertia of key is reduced by 8,000 units due to decreasing gear ratio. The inertia of the weapon is not changed, and the linked inertia is not changed so much, due to only one gear ratio is involved. The moment of inertia of key increased by 42%, the whole amount of inertia is almost the same as original on this sample. Here is the direction of the project I decided. First, adjust the strike weight smoothly at around index 9. Second, shim weapon heels at center of capstan. Third, put half cut of key balancing punching cloths to back side. Fourth, keylet position goes at 0.5 to 0.6 for white keys and 0.6 to 0.7 for black keys. Fifth, adjust front weight at minus 3 grams from front weight ceiling. Then lastly, set balance weight at 38 grams. This is the front weight chart. Front weight ceiling is red line and the original front weight is dark blue. With assist spring, definitely front weight is very light. Now we are start processing. I pre-voiced already. Pre-shaping hammer felt roughly. Taper correct amount for strike weight reduction. Increasing strike weight. Well fall into hammer wood and insert and tighten hammer lid to get target strike weight. Recenter shank flanges, they were very loose. Service weapons, protect all centers or recenter where necessary. Shim weapon heel for adjustment of ratio both strike ratio and gear ratio. I put center of the capstan mark, so 
ratios will be same or similar at least. I can adjust ratios in the future by this shim. Taking unnecessary keyless off for front weight pre-adjustment, especially from back side of the key sticks. Front weight adjustment, find out position of the legs. Set keylets according to pre-calculated front weight value. Look for a certain ratio where mass center of keylets is. Target mass center of keylets is 0.5 to 0.6 for white keys and 0.6 to 0.7 for black keys. Bore holes for keylets. Insert and tighten keylets. Assemble all parts and regulate it. Key balance punching cloths were already cut and inserted. The action was finalized in the piano at the customer's house. Finalized equation of balance of mid C. 38 grams of balance weight. 27 grams of front weight. 3 grams minus from ceiling. Strike weight was 10.3 grams and final ratio is 5.4. C sharp 4. Final result. Balance weight is 37.5 grams. Front weight 26.6 grams. Strike ratio is 5.3. This project set up at lightest touch for the customer. It will be adjusted to heavier touch when required. It can be heavier by moving half cut punching to the front side and move heel heel shim to jack side. Also, it can be adjusted even heavier by keeping punching close at front side and moving shim to front side with the combination of half cut punching cloth and heel shim you can adjust a variety of touch weight possibilities. Final front weight is indicated with a light blue line. Much smoother and elevated line you can see. This action gets now even smooth, nice touch throughout registers. Did you see the procedure of touch weight management? Check its detail of theory at lecture series and actual practice at a practical series. I will see you soon.